let's take a look at this Lilygo T Deck Plus. And I am using it mostly for Mesh Tastic. And it's really great for Mesh Tastic. It is definitely, you know, something in development and doesn't work perfect all the time. But let's take a look real quick. So we've got the trackball, and of course it's the plus, so it's got the case already. We've got a little GPIO port right here for it, right? We've got a nice touch screen here. It also has the keyboard. And here's the on off switch right here. On off switch. This part right here is to mount it. You can like mount it on a vehicle or something. You'll see I have this like 3M tape all over the place just because I want to preserve the little symbols on it. And yeah, keyboard. And it's really great for Mesh Tastic because you have a little keyboard instead of using your phone or something like that or a keyboard. You have this keyboard on it. And this is really the promise kind of of, of Mesh Tastic of, of what it can be. Like I said, still in development. There's still a lot of bugs and things like that, but it is really cool. Now, when I got this, I started looking things up and I found out there was something called the Fancy UI. The Fancy UI is cool. Uh, it itself, because it's in development, is extremely buggy, doesn't work very well, but I had to figure out how to get it on here. And I'll kind of go through that with you all. And oh, SD card slot right here, you need that. Um, I'll, I'll go through that with you all so you can kind of see how I was able to make that work. And, and yeah, so we can go through it. So the first thing you have to do to get the fancy UI is you have to install a launcher. So the M5 stack launcher. What I did was I found out that if you went to this website right here, I'll put that in the, I'll put that as a link in my description. So you go here, you scroll down, Come on, let's focus. Scroll down to Lily Go T Deck right there. And what we have to do is put the T Deck in boot mode. So the way we do that is plug it into the computer, hold down the trackball, turn it on, and it puts it into its little boot mode. Let go, and we should be good to go. Now, if we go back here, and we look and we hit connect. COM14 is the one that mine's on. We hit connect, install TDEC, install. And it goes through its thing. Stay on this page. Don't leave the page. Otherwise, it will it does something weird. It like takes a really long time and does something weird. So just make sure you stay on here. It doesn't take too long. It takes a couple minutes. And then it does this little wrap up thing. And once that's done, we have to prepare the SD card. All right, so now I'm gonna unplug it, turn it off. Cool. Now we're gonna prepare our SD card. And before do that real quick. I noticed that earlier I had done something wrong, so I'm just going to delete this. Okay, cool. So on our SD card, because we're using the launcher and we want to do the fancy UI, what you have to do first, <laughs> this took me forever, was I had to find this zipped file. Okay. I found, I finally found it. And in this file, once I unpacked it, I found the update file. So 253 is, we want TDEC 253. So if we scroll down, we'll eventually find it. TDEC 253 update. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. Just bear with me, trust me, because we will get 
to the fancy UI. Where are you? There it is. 253 TDEX. So you copy this and you paste it in your SD card. Copy and paste it. Then make sure, why not? This is the latest firmware, 2511 as of today. It's the latest firmware. And you go in there and you find the bin file for the TDEC in here, just the regular bin file. And you for the TDEC, you copy it and you paste it in your SD card. So you have these two files in your SD card, right? So what we've done so far is we've flashed the launcher on here on our SD card, which I'm going to eject now. Where are you? I'm going to eject you. What we've done on the SD card is we have the latest firmware for MeshTastic and we have the fancy UI firmware. Now I'll take this SD card, plug it in to, let's use this to get this in there. Right, that's in there, very good. And now we're gonna turn this sucker on. So when we turn it on, a couple interesting things happen. First thing that happens when we turn it on is it's probably upside down. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit the trackball. And if I want to, I can go to this config right here and I can tell it, let's focus this a little better. I can tell it to not be backwards. So rotate 180 degrees. There we go, now it's straight. So now that I've told it that, now I can go to my SD card because we've loaded the launcher. So the first thing I'll do, go to the SD card. Let's go to 2511 real quick, just so I can show you that that launches. We install, and there it goes. Now, while it's installing, I forgot, I want to grab, because I want to see if it will pop up on my phone. All right, so that's complete, that's installed. Let's turn this phone on now. And so we can see now I've got 2511 right here. And this is, this is, um, it's wonky when you, when you do it from the launcher. It's very, very wonky. It does not work completely right. It's, it just doesn't. So what I'll do here, let's take a look. Let's see if this will work. I, I really don't think it will. So if I take it and I try to connect, oh, it is working, look at that. So I'm gonna hit the code to put it in, 970, and pair it. So the reason we wanna do this part first is so that when we go to the fancy UI, it's already kind of set up, right? If you go to the fancy UI first, it's not set up. And then if you go back to the good UI, it just, it doesn't work right. So all we want to do first is set our region. So we'll set it to the United States. And sure, why not do all that right now? Hit save, boom. And it's going to relaunch. So once this relaunches, we should see more of the regular stuff that we're, uh, there we go. More of the regular stuff that works, right? Let's see if this gets it incorrectly. Subscribe to Mesh. There we go. We're getting some more of the functions. Very good. And then you can go in here into your settings and, you know, start playing with more stuff and, and getting it going. Let's just, uh, let's send a message real quick. Actually, let's do it from the Tastic. So here I'll just hit the space bar and I'll go A, C, K. 
and enter. Bam. See if it sends it. It did, it sent it. I don't know if it's... Over here, you can usually get more of a an idea waiting for acknowledgement. Get more of an idea if, if you get acknowledged or not. But even if we don't, because I'm kind of like in a, oh, there we go. It did. I got acknowledged. Very good. So it's working. 2511 is working. But we want that fancy UI, right? So let's take a look at that. What I'm going to do now is reset this. I can either turn the power off and on or hit the reset button. I'll hit the reset button. It goes to the launcher. I have to hit enter. I want to go into this SD card. Now we want to go to this fancy UI, right? So that's 253. Let's take a look. 253. Install. And it's going to go through its install process. Now we wanted to do the other one first to set everything up so that messaging and everything works. So we've done that. Now we'll go into the fancy UI. Do, 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 do. Going into the fancy UI. Installing the fancy firmware. And again, this is the promise. Look at this. This is the promise for Meshtastic. Eventually, this will be how you use this device, hopefully, as long as everything goes well with the developers. So let's take a look at a couple things now that we're in here. We can see nodes, right? Discovered nodes. Uh, as you can see, it, it again, doesn't work too well. It's given the channel no name. But let's see if we can message. So if we say ACK again, we'll see on the phone over here. See, it doesn't even really want to go on to Bluetooth at all. You can see on the top right corner, it won't connect to the Bluetooth. But we did an ACK, and oh, it went green. That means it got uh, acknowledged somewhere when it goes green like that. So my guess is <laughs> if people were throwing around messages, it might show up here. It might show up on the, on the screen. And again, we can see these nodes. A few more nodes are coming in now. The settings right here, we can go to settings and change things. So I could change this to primary now, which is usually the name of channel zero. And see, it's, a little, it's getting a little freezy already. I think that's because I have to go to OK over here. Yeah. So now I can go into primary messages. It's saying, oh, this is the place you were talking before. Let's see, pen test. Boom. If it goes green, it means it's been acknowledged, uh, meaning another, another meshtastic node has gotten it. If it doesn't go green, then we have not been acknowledged and we get very sad. Just kidding. Anyway, this is the fancy UI. This is the promise of Meshtastic, of what we want. Hopefully one day, this is what it will all be like. You can see I'm getting more nodes in right there. No one has messaged me back though, but that could just really be, see no acknowledgement there. That could really just be that this has not, um, you know, maybe people aren't even seeing the messages really. Who knows? You just really don't know with this UI yet. In any case, this is the LilyGo T deck. Uh oh. <laughs> See, it's probably just going to restart now. It's all buggy. This is the LilyGo T deck. And uh, we flashed it with the M5 launcher. And then we got the fancy UI on there for a little while. Jeez, till it gave up on me. Oh, there it is. There it is. J 
just had to hit the center button for using Meshtastic and all that sort of cool stuff.